Joining me today from the state of South Carolina is Lisa Briganti. Out of an audience of more than 250,000 agents nationwide, Lisa has been selected to represent Broker Agent Advisor as this month's Broker Agent of the Month for the state of South Carolina. And Lisa, it's a privilege to be here with you, to recognize you for your contribution to the industry. And I just wanna say congratulations on the recognition and thank you for joining me. Well, thank you so much, Brian. It's quite an honor to be chosen out of all the agents in, in uh, South Carolina. I know in Greenville alone, we have 4,000 realtors. So I am very, I'm pleased that I was chosen and honored. So thank you very much. You're welcome. You've earned it. Uh, this thank Broker you. Agent of the Month recognition is all about trying to find men and women in this business that as a result of their being in the business and the way they approach doing the business, the business is better off. And I can say with a lot of confidence, you're one of those people. My desire would be, Lisa, for people that get a chance to see this, just to get a sense for who you are. And I thought we'd just explore a couple questions together while we're together. Sure. Um, let's start with like, why real estate? There's so many things that you could be doing. How did you become a realtor and why was that important to you? Well, it goes way back. Um, I was originally, I had a degree in fine arts. I did my art for a while and then ended up getting divorced, needed a real job. Um, got my uh, certificate as a real estate paralegal. Mm -hmm. I did that for 16 years. And then I worked for First American as a title rep for eight years. And then we relocated to Greenville, South Carolina. My husband had a job transfer and I said I was done with corporate America. And when we got here, the next obvious step to me was to be a realtor. So well, I had all the real virtually, estate. You've seen the whole business, right? You've seen yes. every facet of it. Yeah. And so you have a lot to bring your clients in terms of your experience, not, not just having success as a real estate agent, but, and you, you've been a part of all of it. Yep. Um, you, you, you have seen all sides and a lot of people, maybe you had a different perspective getting in, but a lot of people have this perception that real estate is easy and, and that everybody in it makes a ton of money. And the reality is this is a really tough business. And it's typically a lot different when, when agents get their license and they get into it when, than, than what they thought it would be. Um, what do you find most rewarding about it? What is it that, that has you excited to, to, to stay in this business and, and stay producing like you are? Well, I, I enjoy people. I'm a people person, so I love meeting new people. I have a big sphere in only seven years of being down here. Um, and I just, I enjoy, I enjoy the chase of the deal. Mm -hmm. I, um, it's, it's never about the money for me. It's just about, you know, it's one more family I was able to help. Yeah. So that's how I look at it. Yeah, that's awesome. I, uh, I was curious, I found a testimonial. Um, I always think it's good to, to share what someone that's gone through that transaction with you from the other side, someone you represented, how they would describe that experience. Uh, it said, Lisa is an amazing person. After moving 1,400 miles into a new area and not understanding the Greenville housing market, it was a blessing to find Lisa. I actually enjoyed driving all over Greenville looking for houses because Lisa made it fun. However, when it came time for business, she was on her game. I don't consider Lisa our realtor. I consider her a new friend to share my home with. I wish God's blessings upon her for all she does. Thank you so much for all your help. There are plenty of those, Lisa. I mean, that's a testament that this person that you want to be and you know, this person that puts their clients first, it, it's validated in the testimonials that you read online and congratulations for the kind words. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for that. They were great. Yeah, I really early. enjoyed them. And I always say my clients are not just clients through the transaction, they're clients for life. Yeah. So they become that's awesome. That's cool. You're in a market that's growing. I'm, I'm obviously, I don't live that far away outside Atlanta and you're in Greenville and I hear all the time about all the hustle and bustle and things going on there. Um, you could, I mean, realistically, you could do this job anywhere. What makes Greenville, South Carolina, such a great place to live, work, and play? Oh, I love Greenville. Um, we came from Connecticut. We just love the downtown area. Um, we are out and about the restaurants, the um, art scene, seeing that I, I want to have right. a degree in fine arts, um, the theater and music. I'm a big music buff. There's a lot of music here, which you wouldn't expect. Uh, it's a small enough city to navigate. Um, there are, uh, just in the last seven years, there are a lot of transplants. So we love it here. We would never go back north. We're just yeah. very happy here. We're happy with the weather. We're happy with the cost of living here. Um, we've made a lot of good friends. Yeah, that's awesome. I, uh, I visited a few times. It's a, it's a pretty cool place. 
Um, I thought since I have you here and, and for those watching that maybe are thinking about getting into this business or even maybe some that are in it and will just benefit from hearing from you and getting some advice. Based on your experience, if you were to give a single piece of advice to a peer in this business, a realtor, what would that piece of advice be? Be genuine. And competence and confidence. Those are those are the things I would have to say. And don't give up. I mean, right. it's, not, it's not an easy business. It doesn't come overnight. And you have to work hard for it. Like you said, a lot of people think this is an easy business to go into, and it's not. So <laughs> don't give up. Yeah, demonstrate some grit, right? And just be yourself. Yeah, you do. You really, yeah. Pound the pavement, right? Boots on the ground. That's right. Yeah. Well, I, uh, Lisa, I'm proud to have gotten to know you a little bit. I'm proud to be here in this moment, recognizing you for your contributions to the industry. And I, um, I want to say congratulations again on the recognition. And I wish you nothing but huge success in the rest of your journey. Well, thank you very much, Brian. It's been a pleasure and it's been exciting to be a part of this whole thing. Well, you deserve it. Okay, thank you.